Hello and welcome to this tutorial about how you can use SKGL in order to create and validate your serial keys. So what I'm going to start with is to download the SKGL library from the SKGL official website. So the official website is basically this skgl.clisware.net and then we just type oh we, we enter the download here and then we go to download skgl only we'll need the library itself nothing with examples or so uh, so now we're done so, oh, oh this is not good however I have the library it, it's a zip file so here I have the library on my desktop so the th next thing I'm going to do is to create a new Visual Studio project in which we're going to create our two programs. So the first one is the uh, we can say key generator or the for uh, the the project that generates the right keys for our other project that will val validate our keys. Uh, well, this is confusing. Ah, here. Now we have it. So, uh, just placed. So we can press the uh, key generator at our right. Yeah. So this will be our key generator, and uh, I prefer to use C sharp, but actually it doesn't matter because um, you can either use Visual Basic or no or C sharp. It's basically the same thing because they both target C. Uh, the, the .NET framework, sort of. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is to type on the Windows form application because 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 I think it's much more easy. It's much easier to use that. And then I just type create a key, which will be our key generator. And in same time, I have to create another form, which will be our key validator. And so 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 we write validate. Uh, key. I try to keep the same name as is in, in the documentation at clisware.skgl.clisware.net. So basically, we are done. We have to design a good graphical user interface first, first of all. But yeah, for uh, the m most most first step uh, is to add the library itself. Otherwise, it won't work. It's kind of obvious. So I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is to add a reference, which you find at project, and then add reference, and then I go to browse, and then I, uh, as you can see, the project directory is the default one. So I just go to the uh, desktop, and then I type because I have so many icons, so I just type SKGL right away, and I do the same thing here in our validate a key project. So I just go to add reference from the project menu and I go to browse and I the same thing I have to go to the desktop and I have to type SKGL. So now we're done. It's added to our project. What are we gonna do now is um, to create the layout or uh, graphical user interface and this won't be the best one. I can say it directly. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is to add text boxes in both um, arm forms here. So this is the key generator. It should be. Oh, this looks kind of good. And then I have to add a text box in the second one. And this should be the same of the same size, I think. Yeah, we can make it. Okay, this is not the best design, but you kind of get get it, I think. Uh, and uh, then you have to create a button, which in this case will create our keys, and then we have to create a button in the validation uh, box. So let's see, where do I have a button? Ah, here I have it. It's so many features in Visual Studio here. So many controls. But I think we have to keep it simple. So, this button here uh, basically, w we can skip the properties. So what I'm gonna do is to create a new. So ex as you can see here, when I double click at the button, I, I the purpose of this 
uh, uh, event is to create to create a key simply. And before I'm gonna create a SKGL dot generate uh, class, I, I have to declare a SKGL serial key configuration class, which I do by typing SKGL dot serial key configuration SKS. Well, that words new SKGL configuration. Oh, dot here. And then I go to now I can type SKGL dot generate create a key and it will be new SKGL class here and this is generate. Yeah, so this is generate. Yeah, oh and the thing is that we have to add SKS so serial key configuration. So uh, what I what I'm trying to say is that uh, uh, the SKGL generate class and SKGL validate class they both require SKGL serial key configuration class which basically holds all the uh, whole information about the key but we can talk about it later and, uh, and the same same thing thing has to be done in the validate a key project. So SKGL serial key configuration I'm gonna type va validate 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 I think I forgot something there uh yeah I forgot the semicolon here uh and as you can see it's a basically the same principle both look the similar they're sim uh, they are the same except the class uh so I'm, w what I'm gonna do here is that I type text box one which will be the output equals um SK uh, create a key do key and here we have another feature which by which you can uh, set the amount of days the key will be valid so just type 30 and here we can write SKGL oh wait um, validate a key so basically text box 1 is the input or output in, in the example at right and here we have to use it as an input so I just type validate a key and then we have another one key here which will be uh, which will be yeah text box 1 so as you can see it's the input in this case uh, and then we, ha we can create the message box uh, Um, validate is valid now I'm going to compile these projects so this belongs to this this is our key generator and this is our key validator uh, and I would say that yeah, so we can create a key here, Control A, Control C, and then we validate it. And obviously, it's true because it's uh, we follow the same structure, and it's kind of obvious that it would be true. But as uh, as long as I keep the same letters and everything unchanged, the key will be true when you use the is valid function. Because actually, is valid function isn't validating if the key has expired or not it's only checking if the key has been modified or not so it's like um, it, it checks the key if it can be used to get the for example uh, amount of days left etc which will come later too so for example if I just cha change um, 2 to 3 now I think I've changed too much to 3 the key suddenly appears to be unvalid and it's a point because it makes it harder to uh, to make the key 
uh, to create hacks, if we can say it like that. So basically this is pretty much it.